Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a project with a pair of broken sunglasses. They broke a while ago and I've just been holding on to them, thinking that I would do a project with them eventually, and today's the day. I was inspired by a pair of Gucci sunglasses. They have a little B right here. Hey guys, Editing Rachel here. So when I first saw these sunglasses, they were listed as Gucci sunglasses, but while I was editing this, I was looking for a photo of the sunglasses that I saw so that I could show you guys, you know, my inspiration. And I discovered that they're actually made by the brand Roda. I think is how you say that. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. They're in the style I'll Be Rich Forever. I'll leave a link to their website down below. They have some really cool stuff, so they're definitely worth checking out, so I recommend it. But sadly for people like me, I have prescription lenses, so I can't, you know, buy a lot of fashion sunglasses, so. I'm left to DIY my broken prescription sunglasses. Anyway, back to the video. I thought that would be kind of cute, so yeah. I went to the craft store and I found the perfect little bee charm to go with it, so I figured it was perfect and meant to be. So that's what we're doing today. Mine are a little bit more decorated than the Gucci sunglasses. I think those just have the bee on the middle, but mine are gonna have some ornamentation right here. So yeah. Let's get started. First, I repaired the sunglasses. I stuck the lens back in and used tape to close the frame back up. Then I glued it together with a small amount of super glue. I wasn't super confident that the super glue was going to be enough, but I'm going to use epoxy later, which is what is going to be the main stuff to hold everything together. At least, that's what I'm hoping. My plan is to stick the bee in the middle, on the nose bridge, and then I'm going to put three rose beads on the sides. Rose beads would help hide where the frames are cracked, and then it also will reinforce that area with epoxy. The bee charm has a jump ring and a loop on it because it's supposed to be used with jewelry. So to prepare it for the sunglasses, I removed the jump ring and then used some wire cutters to cut off the loop, and then I filed the sharp metal down. I wanted to do a cluster of three roses on each side, and instead of just gluing them on, like they are, I wanted to sand down two of the outer roses at a diagonal so that they would sit kind of tilted, which I thought would look nicer. So they sat like this instead of this. I mixed the two-part epoxy together, dipped the back of one of the normal rose beads in, and stuck it to one corner of the sunglasses. Since sunglasses are like curved, I had to kind of prop it up so that this side was kind of sitting flat so the beads wouldn't really move around too much. I repeated this with two of the roses with the sanded backs and then put them on either side of the first rose. The epoxy I'm using takes about five minutes to cure and looking back I should have just let this side do its thing before moving on but I was impatient and then moved straight on to trying to glue the bee down onto the bridge of the nose, which ended up getting a little sloppy. The roses and the bee were sliding around all over the place. Thankfully, after this, I was able to kind of hold everything in place while it cured enough so that all the beads would stop moving. After everything stopped moving around, I mixed up some more epoxy and then moved on to attach the roses on the other side. And then once all of that was cured, I pulled out some liquid gold leaf to paint on the roses to try to match the bee charm. Sadly, the liquid gold leaf that I had was a different type of gold, so I made the executive decision to also paint the bee. Initially, I was going to try to keep the eyes black, but I accidentally painted over one a little bit, so I just went with it and painted over the eyes completely. And actually, at this point, I was going back and forth on if I should paint the whole frames gold instead of leaving them this clear color, but part of me also liked how it is right now. So yeah, I was unsure. What do you guys think? Should I paint it gold or should I leave it as is? For now, I'll keep them like this. So once the liquid gold leaf was dry, my sunglasses were done. I think they turned out pretty cute. I 
hope you guys enjoyed today's project. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. You can follow me on any of my social media, which will be linked down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you like my videos and have learned something from them, please consider supporting me on Patreon to help me continue to make them. It's totally optional, I'll still be making videos either way, it just helps me be able to put out better stuff. A link will be down below, or you can just click up here in the corner.